the way I was about to start recording and then I realized that I was wearing this exact shirt in my last video, I have to change or else you guys will think that I have no clothes. I just dress like a cartoon character, okay? I'll be right back. Is this better? A little KK Slider Animal Crossing slash Joseph and the Amazing Technicolor Dreamcoat moment. <laughs> Hi, it's been a little bit since I've made a YouTube video, but here I am back again with, you guessed it, another Notion template because you guys loved the last one so much. And yeah, it's been a little while. The only thing you've missed is that I have little bangs now. I have little cutie bangs now. Do we like them? I like them. <laughs> So yeah, I'm back with another Notion template. This one I use so much because you cannot make me join another website. I can't do it. Things like Letterboxd, Goodreads, Storygraph. I, I just can't keep up. I can't keep up, but I want to keep a running list of all the things that I watch, listen to, read. So I keep it in my Notion. Just like last time, this template is going to be on my Ko-Fi, but this one is a little bit more special. So you can download it for free. It's pay what you want. But if you throw a couple bucks my way, know that your money will be going straight to GoFundMe that will help a family evacuate out of Gaza. If you follow me on any other platform, you will know that I have been in touch with a family from Gaza. And so we're trying to raise 60,000 euros to get them out. And as of recording this, we actually just hit 20,000, which is so incredible. Have I cried about how much money we've raised? Yeah, a little bit, but we have a long, long way to go. So if you go to my Ko-Fi and you download this template, like I said, all the money that I have made off of this will go straight to them. Also, if you don't use Notion, but you still want to help out, I have the GoFundMe linked down below so you can go straight there. The minimum donation on GoFundMe is $5 and $5 really, really adds up. Most of the donations on the GoFundMe have been around $5. And if you've been like boycotting Starbucks because you hate their union practices, take that $5 that you would have spent on coffee and give it to Muhammad and his family because they are so, so appreciative. When I tell you every message they send me is just like full of appreciation. It's all because of you guys, so please consider donating or downloading the template. So yeah, this template is a media tracker. I love to track all of the things that I watch, listen to, read, all that stuff. So let's get into it, shall we? So here is the page. It's called The Library, and this one says 2024 because I had one for 2023, and I didn't want to get confused. But this is my personal one. We're not going to talk about how I have low disk space either. <laughs> Notion, please set me up with a paid plan so I can get more space, please. <laughs> so just like all of my templates that exist in my Notion board, I have quick links back to other sections of my Notion so I can navigate more easily. And I have a breadcrumb in the middle because I just think they're so cute. And I have a little gif with the Master Sword because my whole Notion board is Zelda themed. And then here on the right is one of the coolest features that Notion has ever implemented, which is called a button, which you can like automate different actions. So the actions that I have for these buttons in particular is to just add a new item to each of these relevant databases. So I have four databases down below which I'll scroll and show you for movies, TV shows, books, and games. So you can see here I've opened up the rule. When this button is clicked it will add a page to the cinema database which is all the movies that I've watched and then it will also open up that page in a center peak so I can automatically start adding stuff. And then the rest of the page is really simple. I just have a gallery view of the database and then a to watch list on the side. So you can see I have movies. You take a peek at the movies I've watched this year. Some have been really really great and some have been terrible looking at you madam web then we have tv shows we have books and we have games so i'm gonna scoot over to the one that you will be able to download which looks like this i'll be so real i followed the notion girlies here and did some ghibli gifts instead of the zelda ones but you could change it to whatever you want and then it looks exactly the same so you can add your own quick links here the breadcrumb is just the library but when you move it into a deeper page it will show up as a breadcrumb and then over here are the four buttons and you can switch these out or add more i feel like if you're like an avid concert go that might be a really cool database to add like all the concerts you've been to or if you really love just like listening to new music maybe like all the new albums you listened to this year would be a really great one or like different podcasts things like that I feel like it's so versatile and you can just like continuously add new and interesting stuff so just to get a little more specific I kind of want to add one to each of these to show you basically what it looks like so if I wanted to add a new movie I would click on this and then I recently watched Challengers which, oh my god, that movie. So let's type it in. So challengers for the genre. I'm gonna put in romance. 
I guess. And then drama, definitely. I watched it last night, so the 21st. We're gonna give it five stars and I have to copy paste the director's name because I don't know how to spell it. Luca Guadagino, is that how you pronounce it? Luca, I'm so sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna put it into the director's spot. And then for the icon, I mean the tennis ball, right? Obvi. And then let me find the movie poster. So I'm just Googling this and then I just hit copy image and then I'll just do control V and it should just pop up. Yeah, there she goes. I like to scroll down to the database and reposition it so that it's like in a spot that's really cute. Cause look at that, that's just perfect. Um, was that a TV show? I am not averse to the cultural zeitgeist. I did just start watching Bridgerton season three. So this is gonna be a historical historical romance, but also a drama. This one, because only half the season is out at time of recording this, I'm gonna click in progress and I'm not gonna give it a rating yet because I haven't seen the whole season. I'm still holding out hope that Eloise is a lesbian. This is season three, so we're gonna add season three. And then for the icon, gotta be a B, right? Gotta be a B. And let me find the poster. This one's cute. God, Nicola Coughlin is so beautiful. Hello, look at her. And there it is, it shows up automatically. Let's reposition so we can see. Penn and Colin, right? Yeah, so cute. Also, obviously, if you're like scrolling down, you can also just add a new item from the database itself. Let's add a book. Oh my God, you know what book I read recently? I recently read Daisy Jones and the Six by Taylor Jenkins Reid. The way that I sobbed at the end of this book, unreal called historical because it's like a historical account of a band that isn't real and then drama <laughs> also for all you freaks i did include a fan fiction genre <laughs> if you're so inclined i finished this last friday i believe no like two fridays ago i want to give it four and a half but there's no half star emoji if anybody figures out how to do like a half rating let me know because i want to give it four and a half i'll be generous and give it five i just loved it oh my god the end of it was so, so good. What kind of music thing should we add? Probably the guitar. Although this one's pretty cute, musical score. Let's do that. Let me find the cover. The way that this girl like looks like Riley Keough who plays Daisy Jones in the show. What's up with that? They did that on purpose. That's kind of the perfect positioning too. Also the great thing about this is that because these are all individual pages, ostensibly if you're like a reviewer and you like to like write down all of your thoughts about something, you could just add them into each of these individual pages and they'll just be there forever for all time. Which I actually think I did with normal people and I just left in here. I just left this in here. Okay, so if you're interested in my thoughts on Normal People by Sally Rooney, spoiler alert in there, but I'll keep it there for you guys. And then for games, did I just start a new playthrough of The Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild? Yes, yes I did. Breath of the Wild. I did surely do that. What would we call this genre? I would call this fantasy. I would call it open world RPG. In progress, ongoing, just made it to Zora's Domain, and the studio is Nintendo. It's just the game of all time, I think. I just missed running around Hyrule. What icon should I add? Maybe a horse? Is that weird? My horse's name in, in my Breath of the Wild save is Big Tony and I love him. For the sake of the template, I'll just show you. This is a five-star game and I finished it in 2017, but we'll say I finished it today. <laughs> so there you go. There's the whole template. And like I said, this whole thing is pretty customizable. You can literally just copy paste this entire section and just replace the titles of everything and could add in different types of media. So you could add in, like I said, concerts, podcasts. What other types of media are there? I don't know, but you could add in whatever you want. Like I said, if you are so inclined to download this yourself, it's available on my Ko-Fi down below. And if you throw a couple dollars my way, over there, I will be sure to forward that on to this family that we are trying to evacuate out of Gaza. And if you are so inclined further, you could donate directly to their GoFundMe, which is also linked down below. I know this is kind of a shorter one, but I have another very, very fun Stardew themed video in the works. So if you're so inclined, please feel free to like and subscribe, drop a comment down below, and I will catch you in the next one. Okay, bye. Later.